God plays the A to Z role in salvation. He is sovereign. And we are studying the Bible to see that all of God's sovereignty is revealed in the light of Christ. So the role of God is salvation. The role of God's sovereignty is in salvation. Nobody dictates to God. God doesn't react. Nobody dictates to God. Nobody tells God what to do. And at the same time, God doesn't react. He doesn't get angry. God doesn't react. He doesn't get angry. Circumstances don't make God do something. No. That there are situations doesn't make God do something. Because if God will do something because there's a situation, it means he is reacting. It means he's reacting. It is not because you have a problem that God will do something. If God is doing something because you have a problem, then it means he is not God. That means that problem uh, took him by surprise. But God doesn't react. God doesn't get angry. Before the need arise, he had made provision. On Mount Moriah. On Mount Moriah. Abraham said, the Lord shall provide himself. The Lord shall provide himself. That means the provision of the Lord is himself. Hibananka. The Lord shall provide himself. That is why all of God's promises and all of God's blessings are in him. In him. Everything God will do is in Christ. He does not react. He is never late. He is not in a hurry. He's in charge. Nothing takes him by surprise. Nothing takes him by chance. That's why he is God. He's omniscient. He, he has foreknowledge. He sees ahead of time. And in his predestined plan, he has already taken care of the matter before the matter arrived. I'm teaching here. He doesn't react. So he does not do something because of his situation. Before that situation was ever conceived, he had already done it. Abraham said to the, to the young lad, the Lord shall provide, because the young lad said, Father, we see the wood, we see the, the, the fire, where is the lamb? He said, the Lord will provide himself. The Lord will provide himself. Because it was a type of, 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 the, of the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ. The Lord shall provide himself. And when they got to Mount Moriah, the Lord provided himself. Oh yes. Don't touch that boy. Take him off. Uh, what, what, what benefit will I get in killing Isaac? Isaac is just a type. Look there, there's a ram. Cut up by the thick of the horns. Take that, put on the altar. And, and the Bible says, we brethren, as Isaac was, we are. So Isaac was to die. We were to die. And the ram showed up, which was Jesus coming to take our place. That's why Jesus said, Abraham saw my days and he was glad. When did Abraham see the days of Jesus? On Mount Moriah at the place of the substitutionary sacrifice. The Lord shall provide himself. Nothing takes God by chance. Your healing is not going to happen. Your healing already happened. You are only coming to find out about it. Jesus is not going to die again to heal. That one death took care of the woes of humanity. That one death took care of all of, all of the problems that a man will ever face. That one debt. Your salvation was provided in that debt. Your health was taken care of in that debt. Remember, sin entered into the world and debt by sin. So when the root of debt has been dealt with, then the branches that came with debt will either sickness, disease, and all of human depravity are branches of sin. Until sin came into the world, there was no death in the world. 
We see what God created. God's creation of this planet in chapter, Genesis chapter 1. Uh, the Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 1 verse 31. And God saw everything that he has created and that it was very good. Sickness is not very good. Disease is not very good. Poverty is not very good. Ahead of time, God already provided himself. God is not going to bless you. He hath blessed you. So there's nothing God is going to do anymore. He has already done all in Christ. Jesus is the fulfillment of all things. Hinga mojakaya. 